You know they have us easily in hand. Two rounds to nil in favor of the hardcore kid, and it's time for Latifi to put in some work. And he opens up Southpaw, immediately switches to Orthodox, he's going to switch up here. Latifi to try and find something. I don't think he's going to confuse someone of the experience of Emmanuel Newton, especially if you're just going to switch stance but not throw anything. And even when he turns his back, you see Newton now, not even giving him respect when he turns his back to him. He's not worried about him charging and trying to take him down to the ground. And that's the thing, Frank, he should be worried about. I mean, Latifi should be bull rushing him, should be trying to press him back against the cage, lock him up, body clinch, take him down. Keeping his hands up nice and high, his elbows are tight to his body, and just rushing in and putting a head on his chest, then grabbing him home and making a wrestling match. He's not even remotely close to doing anything like that, and he's always going to end up losing his match. Latifi now, they clinch up. Owen Newton with a takedown. Just wow. misses with a high left round, Emmanuel Newton. And he moonwalks back to center cage. He is looking slick tonight, Frank. Newton looks so good. His timing is on, his power is on, his position is on. The most important thing for Newton, too, is his confidence is back in full effect. As a result, he's really tough to stop at this weight class when he's this, when he's this mobile. Chance go up again for Ilir Latifi. Go guys. Latifi doesn't know which way to go here. So he goes to the right. And that's not the way to go. You are Beyonce. Go to the left, to the left. Newton resetting maybe for a rear leg round kick here. No, he goes off the lead lane. And this is the very cerebral fight from Newton. Not overextending, not trying to really impress the crowd, but just doing enough to stay ahead on the scorecards, get the win. There's a nice high left round, trying to loop the shin behind the back of the net. I gotta be honest with you, I think that his left foot, Newton's left foot is his best foot to kick with. He really hasn't thrown too many right high kicks. His left foot seems to float from nowhere in the middle of transitions and catch him in the chest. A little bit like uh, Bill Super from Wallace back in the day. Frank only ever threw off his left leg, never threw off his right leg. And the way he won, he didn't have to. Yeah, it was awesome. Back in the old Benny the Jet and Joe Lewis days. Old PKA days. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if he body shot up a cut. He caught him! Newton's been tagged! Can Latifi capitalize? My word, there is some woman in the crowd here absolutely shrieking like a canary being beheaded. I think it might be a baby screaming actually. Crazy Albanian girl up in the stand somewhere, Frank. That's, you know, kind of redundant. <laughs> Round kick from Newton. He got caught with one good shot, Emmanuel Newton. And maybe it's the only burst that Latifi had in him. Which is strange, Frank, because Latifi to me doesn't look gassed at all. Looks like he's got plenty of reserve here, but he's just not getting out of this gear. I know this isn't his game plan, but this is not what they were teaching him over there in the Puerto Rico fight plan. For sure, this is not what they wanted him to do. And the way we saw Vanarzo, yeah, I'm in the, in the corner, he is so frustrated that nothing is happening. <laughs> Jabbing from Southbourne, switches back to Orthodox. Oh, nice left round kicks from Newton. Let Tim view us the ball. And it's Newton who gets out of the dodge with some fancy footwork. Nicely done from the hard ball pit. Even though he's not landing first of those kicks, every time he throws a kick, he shakes the TV's whole body. You saw his head snap back up a couple of times because he got kicked in the chest. And again, the hardcore kid, more kick than the chorus line. He's going to keep the head on the scorecards. Unless Latifi can go hell for leather here. And look at Newton now, putting on a show. him stop, he's looking to pay him back. But why did Latifi let him off the leash? He should have just pounced on him with 10 seconds to go.
was totally in control this entire fight. You know, Duke was controlling the entire pace. If you don't, if you have a fight funny where you've been losing, once you get a guy against the corner, you hit him with the right hand like that, step in and pick him up and just slam him to the ground and hope that the slam will knock him out. He had to do something, the TV didn't do anything. He definitely came up short in this fight. Good position, nice press. You see him get that leg, lay him down, but look at Latifi. Great wrestling, you know, balance. Rolls himself out of it, and look at Newton. He immediately tries to lead back with that kick again. A nice step. You see him stepping in. Latifi's coming through nice and hard. He's stepping through heavy and hard. Tries to catch him in the chin, and Newton uses his foot motion to get out of the way. Good position here. Catches him with the right hand. Right in the belly. Comes over the top. Throws it in again and steps in. He's, you see how Newton is always dipping his head down. Keeps himself out of the way, and this is the very end of the fight. Dancing showboat. You know, Newton obviously knew that he, this fight was easily in hand. There was no reason to really step in too hard and try to finish it this point. What's up, baby? What's up, daddy? Come on, little daughter, Helena. Daddy want another one. He's a hell of a nice guy, too, baby. Emmanuel. He'll get the victory here. Disappointing from Kalia Latifi. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Bryce Leggetti scores the bout 29-28. Judge Don Griffin scoring it 30-27. Judge Dan Matheson sees it 29-28. For the winner, a shark cage blue corner here. Doug Williams. Jeez, if he was a state trooper already, Doug Williams.